Hey, I'm Luna, and all through high school, I felt like a bit of a dork. Boys never seemed to notice me. Instead, they always favored the prettier, more popular girls. I guess this gave me self-esteem issues, as now I'm at college, I still struggle believing that any guy could like me. Until Grayson, my first boyfriend ever, came to my life. We got to know each other during a group project, and not long after that, we started dating. At first, I found it hard to believe that a popular guy like Grayson had an interest in a plain girl like me. I found myself falling in love with Grayson, but the more I fell for him, the more insecure I found myself becoming. You see, he was my first love, but I was well aware that I wasn't his. Before me, he dated this girl called Savannah. Not only was she popular, but she was also absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't stop wondering why two people like them ended up breaking up, and why he ended up with a normal girl like me. I know it's dumb, but it really got to me. I found myself getting completely obsessed with all things Savannah related. I stalked her social media pages and found old pictures of her with Grayson. They looked so loved up. I began comparing our relationship to how theirs had been, but all I seemed to notice was how I couldn't compete. Grayson had taken Savannah on a romantic weekend away, while we hadn't been anywhere due to his study overload, and for her birthday, He'd bought her a gold locket that contained a photo of them together, while for my birthday, he gave me a cuddly stuffed bear and some past sell-by-date chocolates. The more I compared myself to pretty, perfect Savannah, the more insecure I found myself feeling. I kept bringing her up in conversation at the worst possible times. It was like I just couldn't stop myself. One time, we were making out, then afterward, I asked if Savannah was a better kisser than me. He told me I was being ridiculous, which only made me storm off in a sulk. I guess I longed for him to tell me I was the best, and when he didn't, I just couldn't deal with it. Whatever we did and wherever we went, I seemed to find a way to compare it to him being with Savannah. For instance, when he took me to a posh restaurant, I asked him if he'd ever bought Savannah there. I know I was driving him crazy, but he just didn't understand how insecure I felt. It soon felt like he seemed kind of tired and bored of me, so I knew I needed to sort my head out and stop comparing myself to his ex. Then, Savannah appeared in our lives. She popped up on both of our social media pages and commented on a picture of Grayson and me with, Aw, you two are so cute. It felt like she was everywhere, and she was constantly dropping hearts and likes all over my social media pages. One time, I was in the park with Grayson, and she suddenly appeared. He went off to answer his phone, and she started showing me old pictures of them together. Then she said, He doesn't love you. He's only with you to make me jealous. He's always begging me to take him back. She was so horrible, so I walked away from her. Grayson caught up with me and started telling me off for leaving Savannah. I tried to explain what she'd said to me, but he called me childish. From then on, wherever we went, Savannah seemed to appear. One time at a party, she came up to me and called me a bunch of rude names. I was so mad and I shouted back some cruel words, but then she started sobbing. <sighs> she was such a fake. I turned around to see Grayson standing there. I tried telling him how rude she'd been to me first, but he didn't want to know. He pushed me out of the way so he could comfort her, telling me that my rude words was all he'd heard. Another time, she somehow appeared again when we were at the local art gallery. She joined us, then said she needed Grayson to call the manager for her because she had some questions about a painting. Annoyingly, he did exactly what she asked him to. After he left, she said to me, You're such a loser, and Grayson deserves better than you. Seeing you squirm is so much fun. I didn't have time for this, so I walked past her to find Grayson. I heard a scream behind me and turned to see her at the bottom of the stairs in a heap. I rushed over to her to check if she was okay, and she gave me a vindictive smirk. Then Grayson appeared and hurried over to her. She pushed me! Savannah pointed at me. I denied it, but Grayson didn't believe me. He said that she had no reason to do that with me and that he knew I was the one who was always obsessed about her. He spent his time taking care of her, and no matter what I said, he didn't listen. I didn't want to lose him, 
so I gave him space. A few days later, Savannah called me. She deliberately turned the speaker mode on her phone so I would hear her with Grayson. I heard her groan out, Don't! And he replied, I'll do it gently. Good girl. And then she said, Luna won't like this. And he said, Don't care about that. Then she moaned out, Okay, do it. Yes. Yes! I dropped my phone! I called him to ask what he was doing. He said he was removing bandages and applying medications for her ankle. I tried to believe him, but I heard her groaning in the background. I couldn't bear it anymore and broke up with him over the phone. I just wanted her to get whatever she wanted, even him, if it meant she would leave me alone. A few months later, I started dating John. We got on so well, and when I was around him, I didn't feel insecure at all. But then, Savannah started messaging him, telling him I was cheating on him with Grayson. I forwarded Grayson her message so he could see how vindictive Savannah really was. He said that after me, he'd got back with her. But her controlling nature was too much for him, so he recently broke up with her. Now it's like she's a leech, adamant on sucking the happiness out of me. I just want her to leave me alone, but I don't know what to do to make her stop.